we wanted to recreate the entire scene of three days where they actually start uh, ask where how the induction motor works. <gasps> Stop it. <laughs> If I talk about the percentage, 80% of the CS graduates are unemployed. Okay, it's because they do not have the adequate skills. When it comes to the hiring part, students are not getting placed due to the gap between the college and the industry. So I think that our tech education in India should be more uh, more into practice, and it can also be done by you know if at all we. We introduce the coding classes in schools from the start itself, so that the students actually get to learn that IT is the present and IT is also the future, so that they can in incorporate all those skill sets within themselves from the starting of their life. Yes, definitely they are underrated. There are a lot of talented women in the industry. They could not get the right kind of resources or the right kind of opportunities to stand um, in front of the tech giants of the industry. I don't think women in the IT industry are uh, underrated because uh, it depends on how efficient they are. The thing that women are underrated or are not appreciated enough uh, I don't think it's true. The appreciation thing in general, I don't think it's related with a uh, gender thing. There is a lot of gender bias in the industry, uh, especially in the tech industry. When we uh, start from the beginning, that is when we enter the engineering colleges, the ratio of men to women is extremely low and definitely uh, that impacts a lot of women to not actually join uh, the tech industry. I think the perception that uh, men are better than women in tech still uh, persists to some extent and I think we need a lot more stories uh, about how women are doing it great in the tech industry. I think when I, when I see other women uh, doing great work that inspires me a lot and also sort of deals with the mentality that uh, men are better than women. We had a party um, at the hostel itself on my friend's birthday, right? And uh, I slept around 5 a.m., right? And in the morning, I had this Java class, okay? So I was a bad batch. Then suddenly, ma'am took my name, Mesbit. And immediately, I said, Yes, for me. So that was like everybody was laughing, like everything. So I think that was one of the funniest things. Uh, we wanted to recreate the entire scene of three days where they actually start uh, ask where how the induction motor works, and we actually pulled it off. So I think that is one of the most funniest and the most amazing memory. Ooh!